When we in the UK voted to leave the European Union, it came as a shock to the political elite. The vote had followed months or even years of relentless pro-EU propaganda from the state and, of course, from the mainstream media. They told us that if we voted to leave the EU, that was it. We were out. There was no going back. Suddenly, following the result, there was a soft Brexit and a hard Brexit and we didn't know what we were voting for and we'd got it all wrong. We must have a second vote, they said, and a third, or however many it takes to get the right result. Now, prominent members of the mainstream media let their feelings be known about this, as they increasingly do. Brexit was a disaster. And what had caused it? Democracy. Therefore, democracy was a disaster. And when the American people voted to elect Mr Donald Trump to the White House, the media had the same reaction. Disaster. Something must be done. The people had had a say and it wasn't what the elite had hoped. How could it be that we could go against the grain, go against the wishes of the wealthy? How could we resist this ferocious fear-mongering? Because we had democracy. It was democracy that gave us that voice. So, needless to say, the elite want democracy ended, our democratic vote removed. How dare we have the ability to overrule them? They will try to make sure that doesn't happen again. Now the history of the Western world is a battle for democracy, a history of a battle between the powerful and the powerless. We have freedoms, we lose them, we get them back. That's our history. And it's a story that's still being told. The European Union exists in order to remove our democratic voice and to impose a top-down and remote governance with zero accountability. Just imagine what our rulers could get away with if we had no voice at all or no ability to stop them. Democracy is in crisis. So let's look at the threats it faces. The European Union is an obvious one. Not only has it overridden the results of ref the referendum results in other member states, but we know it would happily do the same with Brexit. The media is another great threat to our democratic freedoms because it campaigns to bring them to an end. And that is not an exaggeration. The BBC has been campaigning, yes, campaigning, for an overthrow of the Brexit result. And indeed, it has campaigned to bring down Donald Trump and demonise all he represents. The media is the filter between the politicians and the people. It decides what information people receive. And it delivers that information with a contemptible dishonesty in order to advance its own agenda. Hate speech and hate laws are insidious and extremely dark. They are reminiscent of the tools of every despot and tyrant in history. They criminalise political opinion and stamp out opposition to government policy. No longer are we allowed to criticise mass immigration, multiculturalism, religions, foreign cultural practices, for all of this may amount to hate. The effort to criminalise hate is an effort to criminalise our very emotions. Hate is an emotion. It's in an internal human feeling. It cannot be regulated by the state. Our emotions are ours to possess and ours to express. Only genuine Tyranny seeks to regulate the very thoughts in our heads. But that is what we are living with today. Electoral fraud. Cheating at elections. 
We know this happens and it is increasing. And as the people begin to push back, expect more of it. This is profoundly immoral. It is the ultimate theft. And we must and will do all we can to stop it in its tracks. Democracy is threatened also by the power of the unelected, the civil service and beyond. How can it be that our elected representatives can find themselves so unable to enact policy if the unelected civil service disapproves? It's because our democracy isn't working. So for Britain has the solution to all of this. We know how to restore our democracy. Withdraw from the European Union, now. End all hate speech laws. Legally oblige the media to tell the truth. End widespread postal voting. Introduce voter ID. Investigate and prosecute all of those involved in electoral fraud to the fullest extent of the law. Make the unelected in our public sector accountable. No longer will they make the rules, pay themselves huge salaries and never answer to the public that funds them. Enough. All of this has to end. Now we can only save our democracy through democracy. And we can only exercise our democracy if we begin at the ballot box. We will only regain our freedoms if we fight for them. And that means electing people who will do what needs to be done. For Britain will do what needs to be done. It will end this elitism and return power to the people where it belongs. Now that is our mission, that is our task, and it can and will be done. The power of the people has altered history before and it will alter history again. Thank you.